सो हेलो एवरी वन द टॉपिक दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टूडे इज द पी ब्लॉक एलेवेंस बिफोर वी स्टार्ट आई बिलीव दैट की जो ऑडियो बुक्स है वो सच में आप लोग के लिए हेल्पफुल है ऑल्सो अगर आपका कोई सजेशन है तो आप कमेंट बॉक्स पे जाके कमेंट करके मुझे बता सकते हो जो भी आपके सजेशन हो एंड वन मोर थिंग आपको कौन सा चैप्टर नेक्स्ट चाहिए वो किसी भी लेटेस्ट वीडियो के कमेंट सेक्शन में जाके मुझे बता दिया करो सो so दैट मैं और आप एक ही फ्लो में हो ऐसा ना हो कि मैं कोई भी रैंडम चैप्टर एज एन ऑडियो बुक रीड कर रही हूँ एंड वो फिलहाल के लिए आपको रिक्वायर्ड ना हो तो आपको जो चैप्टर नेक्स्ट चाहिए वो मुझे बता दिया करो सो so दैट इट इज इजी टू एनालाइज एंड अंडरस्टैंड कि कौन सा डिमांडिंग टॉपिक है एंड मैं फिर वही चैप्टर को रीड करूंगी एंड अगर एक चीज आप भूल गए हो तो यूट्यूब ने लाइक like का बटन दिया हुआ है तो आप मेरे वीडियोस को लाइक like कर सकते हो एंड चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर सकते हो सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड block elements the variation in properties of the p block elements due to the influence of d and f electrons in the inner core of the heavier elements make their chemistry interesting in p block elements the last electron enters the outermost p orbital as we know that the number of p orbitals is 3 and therefore the maximum number of electrons that can be accommodated in a set of p orbitals is 6 consequently there are six groups of p block elements in the periodic table numbering from 13 to 18 boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine and helium head the groups their valence shell electronic configuration is ns2 np 1 se 6 tak except for helium the inner core of the electronic configuration may however differ the difference in inner core of elements greatly influences their physical properties such as atomic and ionic radii ionization enthalpy etc as well as chemical properties consequently a lot of variation in properties of elements in a group of p block is observed the maximum oxidation state shown by a p block element is equal to the total number of valence electron that is the sum of s and p electrons clearly the number of possible oxidation state increases towards the right of the periodic table in addition to this so called group oxidation state p block elements may show other oxidation states which normally but not necessarily differ from the total number of valence electrons by the unit of 2 the important oxidation states exhibited by p block elements are shown in the table 11.1 in boron carbon and nitrogen families the group oxidation state is the most stable for the lighter elements in the group however the oxidation state two unit less than the group oxidation state becomes progressively more stable oxidation more stable for the heavier elements in each group the occurrence of oxidation states two unit less than the group oxidation states are attributed to the inert pair effect so here you can see the general electronic configuration and oxidation states of the p block elements aapko pata hai dekho 13 hai to ns2 np1 theek hai teen bahar 14 hai to ns2 np2 15 ns2 np3 16 ns2 np4 bahar 6 theek hai 17 ns2 np5 18 ns2 np6 so you all are aware about this let's continue reading the relative stabilities of these two oxidation states group oxidation state and two unit less then the group oxidation state may vary from group to group and will be discussed at appropriate places 
it is interesting to note that the non metals and metalloids exist only in p block of the periodic table the non metallic character of the element decreases down the group in fact the heaviest element in each p block group is most metallic in nature this change from non metallic to metallic character brings diversity in chemistry of these elements depending on the group to which they belong in general non metals have higher ionization enthalpies and higher electronegativities than the metals hence in contrast of metals which readily form cations non metals readily form anions the compounds formed by highly reactive non metals with highly reactive metals are generally ionic because of large differences in the electronegativities on the other hand compounds formed between non metals themselves are largely covalent in character because of small differences in their electronegativities the change of non metallic to metallic character can be best illustrated by the nature of oxides by they form the non metal oxides are acidic or neutral whereas metallic oxides are basic in nature the first member of the p block differs from the remaining members of their corresponding group in two major respects first is the size and all other properties which depend on size thus the lightest p block element show the same kind of differences as the lightest s block elements lithium and beryllium the second important difference which applies only to the p block elements arises from the effect of d orbitals in the valence shell of heavier elements starting from the third period onwards and they lack in second period element the second period elements of p groups starting from boron are restricted to a maximum covalence of 4 using 2s and 3p or 2p orbitals 3 2p orbitals in contrast the third period elements of p groups with the electronic configuration 3s2 3pn have the vacant 3d orbitals lying between the 3p and the 4s levels of energy using these d orbitals the third period element can expand their covalence above 4 For example, while boron forms only BF four, the whole minus, aluminium gives Al F six, the whole three minus ion. The presence of these d orbital influences the chemistry of the heavier elements in a number of other ways. The combined effect of size and availability of d orbitals. considerably influences the ability of these elements to form pi bonds the first member of a group differs from the heavier members in its ability to form p pi p pi multiple bonds to itself example carbon carbon double bond carbon carbon triple bond nitrogen triple bond and to other second row elements example carbon bonded doubly with oxygen carbon double bond nitrogen carbon triple bond nitrogen nitrogen double bond oxygen this type of pi bonding is not particularly strong for the heavier p block elements the heavier elements do form pi bonds but this involves d orbital d pi p pi or d pi d pi as the d orbitals are of higher energy than the p orbitals they contribute less to the overall stability of molecules than does p pi p pi bonding of the second row elements 
However, the coordination number in species of heavier elements may be higher than for the first element in the same oxidation state. For example, in plus 5 oxidation state, both nitrogen and phosphorus form oxoanions. NO3 minus 3 coordination with pi bond involving one nitrogen p orbital and PO4 3 minus 4 coordination involving S, P and D orbitals contributing to the pi bond. In this unit, we will study the chemistry of group 13 and group 14 elements of the periodic table. Group 13 elements, the boron family. This group element show a wide variation in properties. Boron is a typical non-metal. Aluminium is a metal but shows many chemical similarities to boron and gallium. Indium, thallium and nihonium are almost exclusively metallic in character. Boron is a fairly rare element, mainly occurs as orthoboric acid, H3BO3. Borax, Na2B4O7.10H2O and Carnite, Na2B4O7.10H2O and Carnite, Na2B4O7.4H2O. In India, borax occurs in Puga Valley, Ladakh and Sambhar Lake, Rajasthan. The abundance of boron in earth crust is less than 0.0001% by mass. There are two isotopic forms of boron, B10 19% and B11 81%. Aluminium is the most abundant metal and the third most abundant element in the earth's crust. 8.3% by mass after oxygen, 45.5% and silicon that is 27.7%. Bauxite Al2O3.2H2O and cryolite Na3-ALF6 are the important minerals of aluminium. In India, it is found as mica in Madhya Pradesh, Karnataka, Orissa and Jammu. Gallium, indium and thallium are less abundant elements in nature. Nihonium has symbol NH, atomic number 113, atomic mass, 286 gram per mole and electronic configuration Rn, 5F14, 6D10, 7S2, 7P2. So far it has been prepared in small amount and half life of its most stable isotope is 20 seconds. Due to these reasons, its chemistry has not been established. Nihonium is a synthetically prepared radioactive element. Here, atomic, physical and chemical properties of elements of this group leaving Nihonium are discussed below. Electronic configuration the outer electronic configuration of these elements is NS2 and P1. A close look at the electronic configuration suggests that while boron and aluminium have noble gas core, gallium and indium have noble gas plus 10d electrons and thallium has noble gas plus 14f electrons plus 10d electron cores. Thus, the electronic structures of these elements are more complex than for the first two groups of elements discussed in Unit 10. This difference in, in electronic structures affects the other properties and consequently the chemistry of all the elements of this group. Atomic radii 
on moving down the group for each successive member one extra shell of electron is added and therefore atomic radius is expected to increase however a deviation can be seen atomic radius of gallium is less than that of aluminium this can be understood from the variation in the inner core of the electronic configuration the presence of additional 10d electrons offer only poor screening effect for the outer electrons from the increased nuclear charge in gallium consequently the atomic radius of gallium 135 picometer is less than that of aluminium 143 picometer ionization enthalpy the ionization enthalpy values as expected from the general trends do not decrease smoothly down the group the decrease from boron to aluminium is associated with increase in size the observed discontinuity in the ionization enthalpy values between aluminium and gallium and between indium and thallium are due to inability of d and f electrons which have low screening effect to compensate the increase in nuclear charge the order of ionization enthalpy as expected is del uh ionization enthalpy that is the third ionization enthalpy is greater than the second one and the second ionization enthalpy is greater than the first one the sum of the first three ionization enthalpies for each of the element is very high effect of this will be apparent when you study their chemical properties electronegativity down the group electronegativity first decreases from boron to aluminium and then increases marginally table 11.2 this is because of the discrepancies in atomic size of the elements physical properties boron is an is non metallic in nature it is extremely hard and black colored solid it exist in many allotropic forms due to very strong crystalline lattice boron has unusually high melting point rest of the members are soft metals with low melting point and high electrical conductivity it is worthwhile to note that gallium with unusually low melting point 303 kelvin could exist in liquid state during summer its high boiling point 2676 kelvin make it a useful material for measuring high temperatures density of the elements increases down the group from boron to thallium chemical properties oxidation state and trends in chemical reactivity due to small size of boron the sum of its first three ionization enthalpies is very high this prevents it to form plus 3 ions and forces it to form only covalent compounds but as we move from boron to aluminium the sum of the first three ionization enthalpies of aluminium considerably decreases and is therefore able to form aluminium 3 plus ions in fact aluminium is a highly electropositive metal however down the group due to poor shielding effect of the intervening d and f electrons f orbitals the increased effective nuclear charge holds ns electrons tightly responsible for inert pair effect and thereby restricting their participation in bonding as a result of this only p orbital electron may be involved in bonding in fact in gallium indium and thallium both plus 1 and plus 3 oxidation states are observed the relative stability of plus 1 oxidation state progressively increases for heavier elements that is thallium is 
greater than indium indium is greater than gallium and gallium is greater than aluminium in thallium plus 1 oxidation state is predominant whereas the plus 3 oxidation state is highly oxidizing in character the compounds in plus 1 oxidation state as expected from energy consideration are more than those in plus 3 oxidation state in trivalent state the number of electrons around the central atom in a molecule of the compounds of these elements example boron in bf3 will be only 6 such electron deficient molecules have tendency to accept a pair of electrons to achieve stable electronic configuration and thus behave as lewis acid the tendency to behave as lewis acid decreases with increase in the size down the group bcl3 easily accepts a lone pair of electrons from ammonia to form bcl3 dot nh3 so you can see bcl3 plus nh3 will give a tetrahedral structure with bcl3 dot nh3 alcl3 achieves stability by forming a dimer In trivalent state most of the compounds being covalent are hydrolyzed in water for example the trichlorides on hydrolysis in water form tetrahedral that is metal in bracket oh4 the whole minus species the hybridization state of element m is sp3 aluminum chloride in acidified aqueous solution form octahedral al h2o6 times the whole 3 plus ion in this complex ion the 3d orbitals of aluminum are involved and the hybridization state of aluminum is sp3d2 okay so this forms a coordination complex you have to pay attention reactivity towards air boron is unreactive in crystalline form aluminum forms a very thin oxide layer on the surface which protects the metal from further attack amorphous boron and aluminum metal on heating in air form b2o3 and al2o3 respectively with dinitrogen at high temperature they form nitrides so you can see uh, there is an element it reacts with oxygen to form e2o3 an element reacts with nitrogen n2 to form en okay the nature of these oxides varies down the group boron trioxide is acidic and reacts with basic metallic oxide forming metal borates aluminum and gallium oxides are amphoteric and those of indium and thallium are basic in their properties reactivity towards acids and alkalis boron does not react with acids and alkalis even at moderate temperature but aluminum dissolves in mineral acid and aqueous alkalis and thus shows amphoteric character Aluminum dissolves in dilute HCl and liberates dihydrogen. 2 aluminum plus 6 HCl will give 2 Al3 plus plus 6 chloride minus and 3 hydrogen gas. However, concentrated nitric acid renders aluminum passive by forming a protective oxide layer on the surface. Aluminum also reacts with aqueous alkali and liberates dihydrogen. 2 aluminum in solid state plus 2 NOH in aqueous state with water will give sodium tetrahydroxyl aluminate a complex compound and hydrogen gas will be released. Reactivity towards halogens 
these elements react with halogens to form trihalides except tli3 element reacts with halide to give ex3 e is element and x can be fluorine chlorine bromine or iodine problem 11.2 white fumes appear around the bottle of anhydrous aluminum chloride give reason the answer is anhydrous aluminum chloride is partially hydrolyzed with atmospheric moisture to liberate hcl gas moist hydrochloric acid appears white in color important trends and anomalous properties of boron Certain important trends can be observed in the chemical behavior of group 13 elements. The trichlorides, bromides and iodides of all these elements being covalent in nature are hydrolyzed in water. Species like tetrahedral MOH4 the whole minus and octahedral M H2O6 the whole 3 plus except in boron exist in aqueous medium the monomeric trihalides being electron deficient are strong lewis acids boron trifluoride easily reacts with lewis bases such as nh3 to complete octate around boron bf3 with nh3 forms BF3 coordinated bond with NH3 it is due to the absence of d orbitals that the maximum covalency of boron is 4 since d orbitals are available with aluminum and other elements the maximum covalency can be expected beyond 4 most of the other metal halides example aluminum chloride are dimerized through halogen bridging example Al2Cl6 the metal species completes its octet by accepting electrons from halogen in these halogen bridged molecules problem 11.3 boron is unable to form bf6 3- ion explain the simple answer is it is due to unavailability or non availability of d orbitals Boron is unable to expand its octet therefore the maximum covalency of boron cannot exceed 4 some important compounds of boron some useful compounds of boron are borax orthoboric acid and diborane we will briefly study their chemistry borax it is the most important compound of boron it is a white crystalline solid of formula na2b4o7.10h2 i'll repeat again na2b4o7.10h2o this is the molecular formula for a borax in fact it contains the tetranuclear units b4o5 in bracket oh4 the whole to minus and correct formula therefore is Na2 in bracket B4O5 again in a rounded bracket OH4 dot 8H2 borax dissolves in water to give an alkaline solution Na2B4O7 plus water gives NaOH and orthoboric acid. on heating borax first loses water molecules and swells up on further heating it turns into a transparent liquid which solidifies into glass like material known as borax bead na2b4o7.10h2o then again na2b4o7 then again nabo2 that is sodium metaborate and b2o3 that is boric anhydride The metaborate of many transition metals have characteristic color and therefore borax bead test can be used to identify them in the laboratory. For example, when borax is heated in a Bunsen burner flame with COO 
cobalt oxide on a loop of platinum wire a blue colored cobalt bo twice the whole twice bead is formed orthoboric acid orthoboric acid h3bo3 is a white crystalline solid with soapy touch it is sparingly soluble in water but highly soluble in hot water it can be prepared by acidifying an aqueous solution of borax na2b4o7 plus 2hcl plus 5h2o gives 2nacl plus 4b in bracket oh thrice it is also formed by the hydrolysis reaction with water or dilute acid of most boron compounds halides hydrides etc it has a layer structure in which planar bo3 units are joined by hydrogen bonds and shown in figure 11.1 boric acid is a weak monobasic acid it is not a protonic acid but act as a lewis acid by accepting electrons from a hydroxyl ion boh3 plus two water molecules will give b in bracket oh4 close the bracket whole minus plus h3o positive on heating orthoboric acid above 370 kelvin it forms metaboric acid hbo2 which on further heating yields boric oxide b2o3 problem 11.4 why is boric acid considered as weak acid it is simple because it is not able to release h plus ions on its own it receives oh minus ions from water molecule to complete its octet and in turn releases h plus ions diborane b2h6 the simplest boron hydride known is diborane it is prepared by treating boron trifluoride with lithium aluminum hydride in diethyl ether so the simple reaction would be bf3 reacts with lithium aluminum hydride to give diborane that is b2h6 as well as lithium fluoride and aluminum fluoride will be obtained as side products a convenient laboratory method for the preparation of diborane involves the oxidation of sodium borohydride with iodine sodium borohydride plus i2 will gives b2h6 plus 2 nai plus h2 diborane is produced on an industrial scale by the reaction of bf3 with sodium hydride bf3 reacts with sodium hydride at 450 kelvin to give diborane plus sodium fluoride diborane is a colorless highly toxic gas with a boiling point of 180 kelvin diborane catches fire spontaneously upon exposure to air it burns in oxygen releasing an enormous amount of energy B2H6 in presence of oxygen it gives B2O3 and water Most of the higher boranes are also spontaneously flammable in air Boranes are readily hydrolyzed by water to give boric acid B2H6 plus water will give B in bracket OH thrice as well as release of hydrogen gas Diborane undergoes cleavage reactions with Lewis bases to give borane adducts that is BH3 dot L. So borane adducts को हम represent कैसे करते BH3 with Lewis base. So B2H6 with NME3 it becomes adduct BH3 dot NME3. B2H6 with carbon monoxide. it becomes borane adduct that is bh3 dot co reactions of ammonia with diborane gives initially b2h6 dot 2 nh3 which is formulated as bh2 in bracket nh3 close the bracket twice whole plus in bracket bh4 minus 
Further heating gives borazine B three N three H six. Borazine B three N three H six, known as inorganic benzene, in view of its ring structure with alternate B H and N H groups. B two H six plus ammonia. It gives B H two N H three in bracket twice. Whole plus BH four minus again, which on heating will give you borazine. Okay, see you can look at the screen. You can uh, while understanding the equation, you can just go go through the screen. I am reading the theoretical part. You can look at the reaction or equation part. The structure of diborane is shown in Figure eleven point two. The four terminal hydrogen atoms and the two boron atoms lie in one plane. Above and below this plane, there are two bridging hydrogen atoms. The four terminal BH bonds are regular, two center, two electron bonds, while two bridge BHB bonds are different and can be described in terms of three. center two electron bonds three center two electron bonds as shown in the figure boron also forms a series of hydri hydrido borates the most important one is the tetrahedral bh4 minus ion tetrahydrido borates of several metals are known Lithium and sodium tetrahydrido borates, also known as borohydrides, are prepared by the reaction of metal hydrides with B two H six in diethyl ether. Two M H, where M can be any lithium or sodium atom, plus B two H six gives metal and B H four minus. You can look at the screen. There is a uh, banana bond formation. Then there is two two center three uh, it, three center two electron bond as well. So you can look over here. Both LiBH four and NaBH four are used as reducing agents in organic synthesis. They are useful starting materials for preparing other metal borohydrides. Use of boron and aluminium and their compounds. Boron, being extremely hard refractory solid of high melting point, low density, and very low electrical conductivity, finds many application. Boron fibers are used in making bulletproof vest and light composite material for aircraft. The boron ten. B10 isotope has high ability to absorb neutrons and therefore metal borides are used in nuclear industry as protective shields and control rods the main industrial application of borax and boric acid is the manufacture of heat resistant glasses example pyrax glass wool and fiberglass Borax is also used as a flux for soldering metals for heat scratch and stain resistant glazed coating to earthways and as constituent of medicinal soaps an aqueous solution of orthoboric acid is generally used as a mild antiseptic Aluminium is a bright silvery white metal with high tensile strength. It has a high electrical and thermal conductivity. On a weight to weight basis, the electrical conductivity of aluminium is twice that of copper. Aluminium is used extensively in industry and everyday life. It forms alloys with copper, manganese, magnesium silicon and zinc aluminium and its alloys can be given shapes of pipes tubes rods wires plates or foils and therefore find uses in packing utensil making construction aeroplane and transportation industry The use of aluminium and its compound for domestic purposes is now reduced considerably because of their toxic 
nature. Group 14 elements The carbon family Carbon, silicon, germanium, tin, lead and flerobium are the members of group 14. Carbon is the 17th most abundant element by mass in the earth's crust. It is widely distributed in nature in free as well as in the combined state. In elemental state, it is available as coal, graphite and diamond. However, in combined state, it is present as metal carbonates, hydrocarbons and carbon dioxide gas 0.03% in air. One can emphatically say that carbon is the most versatile element in the world. Its combination with other elements such as dihydrogen, dioxygen, chlorine and sulfur provides an astonishing array of materials ranging from living tissues to drugs and plastic. Organic chemistry is devoted to carbon containing compounds. It is an essential constituent of all living organisms. Naturally occurring carbon contains two stable isotopes, carbon-12 and carbon-13. In addition to these, third isotope, C14 is also present. It is a radioactive isotope with half-life 5770 years and used for radiocarbon dating. Silicon is the second 27.7% by mass, most abundant element on the earth's crust and is present in nature in the form of silica and silicates. Silicon is a very important component of ceramics, glass and cement. Germanium exists only in traces. Tin occurs mainly as cassiterite. SNO2 and lead as galena PBS. Flerovium is synthetically prepared radioactive element. Ultra pure form of germanium and silicon are used to make transistors and semiconductor devices. Symbol of flerovium is FL. It has atomic number 114. Atomic mass 289 gram per mole and electronic configuration Rn, 5F14, 6D10, 7S2, 7P2. It has been prepared only in small amount. It has its half-life if is short and its chemistry has not been established yet. The important atomic and physical properties along with the electronic configuration of the elements of group 14 leaving flerovium are given in table 11.3. Some of the atomic, physical and chemical properties are discussed below. Electronic configuration the valence shell electronic configuration of these elements in NH2, NP2, the inner core of the electronic configuration of elements in this group also differs. Covalent radius There is a considerable increase in covalent radius from carbon to silicon, there, thereafter from silicon to Pb. A small increase in radius is observed. This is due to the presence of completely filled D and F orbitals in heavier members. Ionization enthalpy The first ionization enthalpy of group 14 members is higher than the corresponding members of group 13. The influence of inner core electron is visible here also. In general, the ionization enthalpy decreases down the group. Small decrease in ionization enthalpy from silicon to germanium to SN and slight increase in ionization enthalpy from SN to PB is the consequence of poor shielding effect 
of intervening d and f orbitals and increase in the size of atom electronegativity due to small size the elements of this group are slightly more electronegative than group 13 elements the electronegativity values for elements from silicon to lead are almost the same physical properties all members of group 14 are solids carbon and silicon are non metals germanium is a metalloid whereas tin and lead are soft metals with low melting points melting points and boiling points of group 14 elements are much higher than those of corresponding elements of group 13 chemical properties oxidation states and trends in chemical reactivity The group 14 elements have four electrons in the outermost shell. The common oxidation state exhibited by these elements are plus four and plus two. Carbon also exhibits negative oxidation states. Since the sum of the first four ionization enthalpy is very high, compounds in plus four oxidation state are generally covalent in nature. in heavier members the tendency to show plus 2 oxidation state increases in the sequence first it is lead then tin and then germanium okay so pb greater than sn and sr is greater than ge it is due to the inability of ns2 electrons of valence shell to participate in bonding The relative stabilities of these two oxidation states vary down the group. Carbon and silicon mostly show plus four oxidation state. Germanium forms stable compounds in plus four state and only few compounds in plus two state. Tin forms compound in both oxidation state. Sn plus sn in plus 2 state is a reducing agent lead compounds in plus 2 state are stable and in plus 4 state are strong oxidizing agent in tetravalent state the number of electrons around the central atom in a molecule example carbon in ccl4 is 8 being electron precise molecules they are normally not expected to act as electron acceptor or electron donor species although carbon cannot exceed its covalency more than 4 other elements of the group can do so it is because of the presence of d orbital in them due to this their halides undergo hydrolysis and have tendency to form complexes by accepting electron pairs from donor species for example the species like sif6 2 minus gecl6 the whole 2 minus sn oh6 the whole 2 minus exist where the hybridization of the central atom is sp3 d2 reactivity towards oxygen all members when heated in oxygen form oxides there are mainly two types of oxides that is monoxide and dioxide of formula mo and mo2 respectively sio silicon oxide only exist at high temperature Oxides in higher oxidation states of elements are generally more acidic than those in lower oxidation state. The dioxides, carbon dioxide, silicon ox- uh, dioxide, and germanium dioxide, are acidic, whereas SnO2 and uh, PbO2 are amphoteric in nature. Among monoxides, carbon monoxide is neutral. germanium monoxide is distinctly acidic whereas sno and pbo are amphoteric problem 11.5 select the members of the group 14 that 
form the most acidic dioxide second it is commonly found in plus 2 oxidation state third used as semiconductor so carbon it is it is the one which forms the most acidic dioxide lead it is commonly found in plus 2 oxidation state and silicon and germanium are used in semiconductors reactivity towards water carbon silicon and germanium are not affected by water tin decomposes steam to form dioxide and dihydrogen gas equationally it can be given sn that is tin reacts with water to give sno2 that is dioxide and hydrogen gas h2 lead is unaffected by water probably because of protective oxide film formation reactivity towards halogen these elements can form halides of formula mx2 and mx4 where x is fluorine chlorine bromine and iodine except carbon all other members react directly with halogen under suitable condition to make halides most of the mx4 are covalent in nature the central metal atom in these halides undergo sp3 hybridization and the molecule is tetrahedral in shape exceptions are snf4 and pbf4 which are ionic in nature pbi4 does not exist because pbi bond initially formed during the reaction does not release enough energy to unpair 6s2 electrons and excite one of them to higher orbital to have four unpaired electron around lead atom heavier members germanium to lead are able to make halides of formula mx2 stability of dihalide increases down the group considering the thermal and chemical stability germanium uh, x4 is more stable than germanium x2 whereas lead pbx2 is more than pbx4 so this line becomes very important tetrahalide of germanium is more stable whereas dihalide of lead is more stable okay except ccl4 other tetrachlorides are easily hydrolyzed by water because the central atom cannot accommodate the lone pair of electrons from the oxygen atom of water molecule in d orbital hydrolysis can be understood by taking the example of sicl4 it undergoes hydrolysis by initially accepting lone pair of electrons from water molecule in d orbitals of si finally leading to the formation of sioh4 as shown below so here you can see the reaction where a silicic silicic acid is formed you can go through the reaction and try to understand sif6 2- is known whereas sicl6 the whole 2 minus is not what would be the reason the main reason are six large chloride ions cannot be accommodated around silicon 4 plus due to the limitation to its size also interaction between lone pair of chloride ion and silicon 4 plus is not very strong important trends and anomalous behavior of carbon like the first member of other groups carbon also differs from rest of the members of its group it is due to its smaller size higher electronegativity higher ionization enthalpy and unavailability of d orbitals in carbon only s and p orbitals are available for bonding and therefore it can accommodate only four pairs of electrons around it this would limit the maximum covalence to four whereas other members can expand their covalency due to the presence of d orbitals 
Carbon also has unique ability to form P pi P pi multiple bonds with itself and with other atoms of small size and high electronegativity. Few examples of multiple bonding are carbon carbon double bond, carbon carbon triple bond, carbon double bond, oxygen and carbon double bond sulfur and carbon triple bond nitrogen. Heavier elements do not form P pi P pi bonds because their atomic orbitals are too large and they fuse to have effective overlapping. Carbon atoms have the tendency to link with one another through covalent bonds to form chains and rings. This property is called catenation. This is because carbon carbon bonds are very strong. Down the group, the size increases and electronegativity decreases, and thereby tendency to show catenation decreases. This can be clearly seen from bond enthalpy's value. The order of catenation is carbon is very very much greater than silicon, then germanium, and germanium is almost equal to tin. Lead does not show catenation. Due to the property of catenation and p pi p pi bond formation, carbon is able to show allotropic forms. Allotropes of carbon. Carbon exhibits many allotropic forms, both crystalline as well as amorphous. Diamond and graphite are two well-known crystalline. forms of carbon in 1985 third form of carbon known as fullerene was discovered by h w crotto e smolle and r f curl for this discovery they were awarded the nobel prize in 1996 diamond it has a crystalline lattice In diamond, each carbon atom undergoes sp3 hybridization and linked to four other carbon atoms by using hybridized orbitals in tetrahedral fashion. The carbon-carbon bond length is 154 picometer. The structure extends in space and produces a rigid three-dimensional network of carbon atoms. In this structure, 11.3 directional covalent bonds are present through the lattice. It is very difficult to break extended covalent bonding, and therefore, diamond is a hardest substance on the earth. It is used as an abrasive for sharpening hard tools, in making dyes, and in manufacture of tungsten filaments for electric light bulbs. Diamond is covalent, yet it has high melting point. Why? The simple, the answer here is diamond has three-dimensional network involving strong carbon-carbon bonds, which are very difficult to break and in turn has high melting point. Graphite. Graphite has layered structure. Layers are held by Van der Waals forces. and distance between two layers is 340 picometer each layer is composed of planar hexagonal rings of carbon atoms carbon carbon bond length within the layer is 141.5 picometer each carbon atom in hexagonal ring undergoes sp2 hybridization and makes three sigma bonds with three neighboring carbon atoms Fourth electron forms a pi bond. The electrons are delocalized over the whole sheet. Electrons are mobile and therefore graphite conducts electricity along the sheet. Graphite cleaves easily between the layers and therefore it is very soft and slippery. For this reason graphite is used as a dry lubricant. in machines running at high temperature where oil cannot be used as a lubricant fullerenes fullerenes are made by the heating of graphite in an electrical arc in the presence of inert gases such as helium or argon the sooty material formed by condensation of vaporized carbon 
uh, n small molecules consist of mainly c60 with smaller quantity of c70 and traces of fullerene consisting of even number of carbon atoms up to 350 or above fullerenes are the only pure form of carbon because they have smooth structure without having dangling bonds fullerenes are cage like molecules C60 molecule has a shape like soccer ball and called Buckminster fullerene as shown in the figure 11.5. It contains 26 membered rings and 12 5 membered rings. A 6 member ring is fused with 6 or 5 membered rings but a 5 membered ring can only fuse with 6 membered rings. All the carbon atoms are equal and they undergo sp2 hybridization. Each carbon atom forms three sigma bonds with other three carbon atoms. The remaining electron at each carbon is delocalized in molecular orbitals, which in turn give aromatic character to molecule. This ball-shaped molecule has 60 vertices and each one is occupied by one carbon atom. And it is also and it also contains both single and double bonds with carbon carbon distances of 143.5 picometer and 138.3 picometer respectively. Spherical fullerenes are also called buckyballs in short. It is very important to know that graphite is thermodynamically most stable allotrope of carbon and therefore the formation of graphite is taken as zero. The formation values of diamond and fullerene carbon 60 are 1.90 and 38.1 kilojoule per mole respectively. Other forms of elemental carbon like carbon black, coke and charcoal are all impure forms of graphite or fullerenes. Carbon black is obtained by burning hydrocarbons in a limited supply of air. Charcoal and coke are obtained by heating wood or coal respectively at high temperatures in the absence of air. Uses of carbon Graphite fibers embedded in plastic material form high strength. Lightweight composites the composites are used in products such as tennis rackets, fishing rods, aircrafts and canoes. Being a good conductor, graphite is used for electrodes in batteries and industrial electrolysis. Crucibles made from graphite are inert to dilute acid and alkalis. Being highly porous, activated charcoal is used in adsorbing poisonous gases also used in water water filters to remove organic contaminators and in air conditioning system to control odor carbon black is used as black pigment in black ink and as filler in automobile tires coke is used as fuel and largely as reducing agent in metallurgy. Diamond is precious stone and used in jewelry. It is measured in carats. One carat is equal to 200 milligram. Some important compounds of carbon and silicon. Oxides of carbon. Two important oxides of carbon are carbon monoxide CO and carbon dioxide CO2. Carbon monoxide. Direct oxidation of carbon in limited supply of oxygen or air yields carbon monoxide. Carbon in solid state with oxygen in gaseous state gives carbon monoxide in gaseous state. On small scale, pure carbon monoxide is prepared by dehydration of formic acid with concentrated H2SO4 at 373 Kelvin. HCOOH at 373 Kelvin gives water plus carbon monoxide. 
on commercial scale it is prepared by the passage of steam over hot coke the mixture of carbon monoxide and water thus produced is known as water gas or synthesis gas you can look at the equation carbon with water gives 473 kelvin at at temperature 473 kelvin gives carbon monoxide plus water when air is used instead of steam a mixture of carbon monoxide and nitrogen is produced which is called producer gas carbon plus oxygen plus nitrogen at 1273 kelvin it gives a producer gas carbon monoxide plus n2 gas Water gas and producer gas are very important industrial fuels. Carbon monoxide in water gas or producer gas can undergo further combustion forming carbon dioxide with the liberation of heat. Carbon monoxide is a colorless, odorless and almost water insoluble gas. It is a powerful reducing agent and reduces almost all metal oxides other than those of alkali and alkaline earth metals aluminum and a few transition metals This property of carbon monoxide is used in extraction of many metals from their oxide ores You can look at the equation over here the reactions that are given and go through it In carbon monoxide molecule there are one sigma and two pi bonds between carbon and oxygen because of the presence of a lone pair on carbon carbon monoxide molecule act as the donor and reacts with certain metals when heated to form metal carbonyls the highly poisonous nature of carbon monoxide arises because of its ability to form a complex with hemoglobin which is about 300 times more stable than the oxyhemoglobin complex this prevents hemoglobin in the rbcs that is red blood corpuscles from carrying oxygen round the body and ultimately resulting in death carbon dioxide it is prepared by complete combustion of carbon and carbon containing fuels in excess of air carbon plus oxygen will give carbon dioxide methane when reacts with oxygen it also gives carbon dioxide plus water in laboratory it is conveniently prepared by the action of dilute hydrochloric acid on calcium carbonate calcium carbonate plus hydrochloric acid will give calcium chloride plus carbon dioxide plus water on commercial scale it is obtained by heating limestone it is a colorless and odorless gas its low solubility in water makes it of immense biochemical and geochemical importance with water it forms carbonic acid h2co3 which is a weak dibasic acid and dissociates into two steps you can look at the steps as it is shown over the screen in the textbook okay h2co3 or hco3 minus buffer system helps to maintain ph of blood between 7.26 to 7.42 being acidic in nature it combines with alkalis to form metal carbonates carbon dioxide which is normally present to the extent of 0.03% by the volume in the atmosphere is removed from it by the process known as photosynthesis it is the process by which green plants convert atmospheric carbon dioxide into carbohydrates such as glucose the overall chemical change can be expressed as 6 carbon dioxide plus 12 water in presence of sunlight and chlorophyll it will give c6h12o6 plus 6 oxygen plus 6 water by this process plants make food for themselves as well as for animals and human beings unlike carbon monoxide it is not poisonous 
but the increase in combustion of fossil fuels and decomposition of limestone for cement manufacture in recent years seems to increase the carbon dioxide content of the atmosphere this may lead to increase in greenhouse effect and thus raise the temperature of the atmosphere which might have serious consequences carbon dioxide can be obtained as a solid in the form of dry ice by allowing the liquefied co2 to expand rapidly dry ice is used as a refrigerant for ice cream and frozen food gaseous carbon dioxide is extensively used to carbonate soft drink being heavy and non supporter of combustion it is used as fire extinguisher a substantial amount of carbon dioxide is used to manufacture urea in carbon dioxide molecule carbon atom undergoes sp hybridization two sp hybridize orbitals of carbon atom overlap with two p orbitals of oxygen atoms to make two sigma bonds while other two electrons of carbon atoms are involved in p pi p pi bonding with oxygen atom this results in its linear shape with both carbon oxygen bonds of equal length 115 picometer with no dipole moment the resonance structures are shown below silicon dioxide sio2 95% of the earth's crust is made up of silica and silicates silicon dioxide commonly known as silica occurs in several crystallographic forms quartz crystobalite and tridymite are some of the crystalline forms of silica and they are interconvertible at suitable temperature Silicon dioxide is a covalent three-dimensional network solid in which each silicon atom is covalently bonded in a tetrahedral manner to four oxygen atoms. Each oxygen atom in turn covalently bonded to other silicon atoms as shown in diagram 11.6. Each corner is shared with another tetrahedron. The entire crystal may be considered as giant molecule in which eight membered rings are formed with alternate silicon and oxygen atoms. Silica in its normal form is almost non-reactive because of very high silicon oxide bond enthalpy. It resists the attack by halogens dihydrogen and most of the acids and metals even at elevated temperature however it is attacked by hf and naoh quartz is extensively used as piezoelectric material it has made possible to develop extremely accurate clocks modern radio and television broadcasting and mobile radio communication Silica gel is used as drying agent and as support for chromatographic material and catalyst. Kishalpur and Kishalgarh and amorphous form of silica is used in filtration plants. Silicones. They are group of organosilicon polymers which have R2 SiO as a repeating unit. The starting material for the manufacture of silicones are alkyl or aryl substituted silicon chlorides Rn SiCl in bracket 4 minus N where R is the alkyl or aryl group when methyl chloride reacts with silicon in presence of copper as a catalyst at a temperature 573 Kelvin various types of methyl substituted chlorosilane of formula me sicl3 me2 sicl2 me3 sicl with small amount of me4 si are formed hydrolysis of dimethyl dichlorosilane ch3 twice sicl2 
followed by condensation polymerization yields straight chain polymers so here you can go through the reaction the reaction becomes important to understand it may be asked in the question so you can look at the screen you can go through the reaction and revise through it silicones being surrounded by non polar alkyl groups are water repelling in nature they have in general high thermal stability high dielectric strength and resistant to resistance to oxidation and chemicals they have wide applications they are used as sealant greases electrical insulators and for waterproofing of fabrics being biocompatible they are also used in surgical and cosmetic plants what are silicones simple silicones consist of the repeating unit of si o in bracket n chains in which alkyl or phenyl groups occupy the remaining bonding positions on each silicon they are hydrophobic water repellent in nature silicates a large number of silicate mineral exist in nature some of the examples are feldspar zeolites mica and asbestos the basic structural unit of silicates is si4 4 minus in which silicon atom is bonded to four oxygen atom in tetrahedron fashion in silicates either the discrete unit is present or a number of such units are joined together via corners by sharing one two three or four oxygen atoms per silicate units when silicate units are linked together they form chain ring sheet or three dimensional structures negative charge on silicate structure is is neutralized by positively charged metal ions if all the four corners are shared with other tetrahedral units three dimensional network is formed two important man made silicates are glass and cement zeolites if aluminum atom replace few silicon atoms in three dimensional network of silicon dioxide overall structure known as alumino silicate acquires a negative charge cations such as na plus k plus or calcium 2 plus balance the negative charge examples of feldspar and zeolites zeolites are widely used as catalyst in petrochemical industries for cracking of hydrocarbons and isomerization example zsm5 a type of zeolite used to convert alcohols directly into gasoline hydrated zeolites are used as ion exchangers in softening of hard water summary p block of the periodic table is unique in terms of having all types of elements metals non metals and metalloids there are six group of p block elements in the periodic table numbering from 13 to 18 their valence shell electronic configuration is ns2 np1 se 6 tak except for helium differences in the inner core of the electronic configuration greatly influence their physical and chemical properties as a consequence of this a lot of variation in properties among this elements is observed in addition to the group oxidation state these elements show other oxidation state differing from the total number of valence electron by the unit of 2 while the group oxidation state is the most stable for the lighter elements of the group lower oxidation state become progressively more stable for heavier elements the combined effect of size and availability of d orbitals considerably influences the ability of these these elements to form pi bonds while the lighter elements form p pi p pi bonds the heavier one forms d pi p pi or d pi d pi bonds 
absence of d orbital in second period element limits their maximum covalency to 4 while heavier ones can exceed this limit boron is a typical nonmetal and the other members are metal the availability of three valence electron 2s2 2p1 for covalent bond formation using four orbitals 2s 2px 2py and 2pz leads to the so called electron deficiency in the boron compounds this deficiency makes them good electron acceptor and thus boron compounds behave as lewis acids Boron forms covalent molecular compounds with dihydrogen as boranes, the simplest of which is diborane, B2H6. Diborane contains two bridging hydrogen atoms between two boron atoms. These bridge bonds are considered to be three center, two electron bonds. The important compounds of borane with dioxygen are boric acid and borax. Boric acid BOH thrice is a weak monobasic acid. It acts as a Lewis acid by accepting electrons from hydroxyl ion. Borax is a white crystalline solid of formula Na2B4O5OH4 in bracket dot 8H2. The borax B test gives characteristic colors of transition metals. Aluminium exhibits plus 3 oxidation state with heavier elements plus 1 oxidation state gets progressively stabilized on going down the group. This is a consequence of the so called inert pair effect. Carbon is a typical nonmetal forming covalent bonds employing all its 4 valency 4 valence electrons 2s2 2p2. It shows the property of catenation the ability to form chains or rings not only with carbon carbon single bonds but also with multiple bonds carbon double bond carbon or carbon triple bond carbon the tendency to catenation decreases as carbon with the highest then the silicon then germanium almost equal to sn which is greater than lead carbon provides one of the best examples of allotropy Three important allotropes of carbon are diamond, graphite and fullerenes. The members of the carbon family mainly exhibit plus 4 and plus 2 oxidation states. Compounds in plus 4 oxidation states are generally covalent in nature. The tendency to show plus 2 oxidation state increases among heavier elements. Lead in plus 2 state is stable whereas in plus 4 oxidation state it is, it is a strong oxidizing agent. Carbon also exhibits negative oxidation states. It forms two important oxides carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide. Carbon monoxide is a neutral whereas carbon dioxide is acidic in nature. Carbon monoxide having lone pair of electrons or carbon forms metal carbonyls. It is deadly poisonous due to higher stability of its hemoglobin complex as compared to that of oxyhemoglobin complex. Carbon dioxide as such is not toxic. However, increased content of carbon dioxide in atmosphere due to combustion of fossil fuels and decomposition of limestone is feared to cause increase in greenhouse effect. This in turn raises the temperature of the atmosphere and causes serious complications. Silica, silicates and silicones are important class of compounds and find application in industry and technology. So here we complete the chapter the P block element in which we have just completed the group 13 and group 14 elements. The rest elements are there in the higher standards which we will be discussing later. Also the mnemonic for group 13 and group 14 are uh, it is uh, boron, uh, boron, aluminium, then gallium, then indium and then thallium. So it is Bal, Gaya, Insan, Takla. For group 13 it is Bal, B, 
एल्यूमिनियम गया जी ए इंसान टकला एंड फॉर ग्रुप फोर्टीन इट इज काशी गए संत प्रभु ओके सो कार्बन सिलिकॉन जर्मेनियम टिन एंड लेड सो दिस वॉज द निमोनिक फॉर ग्रुप थर्टीन एंड ग्रुप फोर्टीन विच आई हैव मेड फॉर माई सेल्फ सो यर वी कंप्लीट इफ यू लाइक द ऑडियो प्लीज हिट द लाइक बटन सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग कीप स्टार्टिंग बाय